Hello, hi, and welcome to today's video in which we're going to look at a little neat trick that I only have learned way too late after working with a lot of analog values and um, Siemens HMIs in TR Portal um, and scaling. Right? What you would usually do is you would write a little program on your PLC to scale a value. We're going to talk about a motor. So I have, um, I have a motor that I want to control. This motor has a speed. I have put like a variable here, a tag into my data block here that is of type integer. And I want to control a motor speed on an HMI, like with a scale. What you would usually need to do is this scale just gives the value of this variable here. So it goes from zero to 32,767. Um, and you just, you, you put in that value. That means 20,600 is in reality uh, an RPM of 250 or something like this. So we need to scale it correctly. Like zero is zero speed is motor off and 32,767 is 100% of the motor speed, right? So what would you rather put in? 32,000 or 100% or 16,200 something or 50%? Of course, you would like to go with the percent or with the RPM respectively, which is, of course, then in the end, this, the same that you uh, in the scaling procedure, you can use it for both the RPM and also the percentage. I will just show you the percentage. RPM is pretty easy then on your own. <clears throat> so what we have here, um, I want to show you very quick on my HMI. I will just put a um, bar, right? a bar, a slider. So I'll drag and drop that here on my HMI. And this slider you can see already goes from zero to 100. Um, and I want to link this to my uh, PLC here. Um, of course, I can do that down here, properties, and there I have uh, somewhere the tag, right? The process tag. And I just select the process tag here on my PLC, right? It is in this data block. And why is that window so small? <laughs> It is in this data block and it's this. So now it's linked to the motor speed. It won't work yet. Just the first thing, analog values right now, it won't work. HMI connection, it won't work. Let's see, I turn on my HMI. Just the one thing I want to show you because if you're a beginner, you will definitely face that issue. So right now this slider, oh, it does work already. Okay, good, so I have set it up. Um, so it works. <laughs> you see the slider, if I go to 100, it is 100, 50 is 50 and so on. Um, why I thought it wouldn't work is now I have prepared that and before is if I go here in my HMI to connections, there has to be this HMI connection between the PLC and, um, so the PLC, the node here and your HMI. I thought I created it earlier in the testing video, but just make sure that you have this connection. If not, your HMI communication won't work. <clears throat> You might have to put that in manually. I've showed you how to do that in another video. Check out my HMI videos on this. So in, back to the topic. So we have the slider that goes from zero to 100. If you were talking about motors, about any analog things, doesn't have to be motors, everything analog, uh, you would assume zero is off and 100 in our case is 100% on, which is not the case. Let's assume this motor here, this variable is connected to a real motor via an analog output. If you have an analog output, then the maximum value will be something 32,767. Of course, there's some other things involved, doesn't matter. Um, but this is basically how it works. Right now, if I want to go with a motor speed of 100%, what you would expect would be that my, that my PLC value would also be 100 right? That is not the case, right? If it would be 100, but everything would be perfectly fine. That is not the case. The PLC output, 100% of the PLC output is something around this value, right? <clears throat> That's just the output, right? It's also there's this 26,000 something thingy, doesn't matter right now. That's our maximum. So our slider, if I want to go to 100%, theoretically, we would need to put our slider also to 32,700 something. So let's do that. I can just go to my HMI, go here, grab this and tell this in the properties, hey, the maximum value should be 32,700, boom, right? 
I can now back in my HMI, I can rerun the simulation, I can go back and run it. The only problem right now, this is freaking ugly. This is useless. Who wants to go to 32,000 to say the motor should be on 100%, right? Now I can just, if you watch the value up here, I can just take the slider and now it is, basically this is off, motor off, and this is motor completely on. This is approximately 50%, this is approximately 25 and so on. That's a little ugly. So what I want to have is a scaling, right? A scaling so that zero should be zero. And if I put this to 100, we should still have the 32,767 here, so the 100%. So what I want, instead of this, right? I want the sl uh, slider value in a scaled form, right? Um, usually most people, most programmers would just put in a program in your PLC that would have like a little mathematical formula, um, just dividing by 100 and, and multiplying by the value that we want. That's, that's the way easier way, way, way easier. So this, I just want 100 because that's 100%. This should be 75 because that's 75. This should be 50. This should be 25. This should be zero, right? So I want my slider actually scaled to the real physical output. It could also be like this, if this is 2000 RPM, right? Then I want my slider, this should also be 2000, right? Of course, I should change the others as well, but you, I hope you get the point. I'll show you later on. <clears throat> yeah, so how do we do this? Usually you would create this in a program. I would go in my PLC, there's a scale block. There is somewhere in here I can search for scale. There is especially a scale block for this. Right. I showed in another video how to do it. There's a way easier way right now. Um, and that is pretty hidden. Most experienced programmers also don't know that this exists. Um, we can simply go to our HMI. There is an automatic scaling feature in the HMI. So if I go here, click on HMI text on my default tech table from my H. What? Uh, no, it's correct. <laughs> I was wondering, it looked a little strange right now. Uh, on my default tag table for my HMI. I, my HMI right now only uses one variable. This variable is called HMI com motor speed on the HMI. It's type integer, needs to be integer. For those scale thingies, you need to have an integer value, right? For those bars and sliders and stuff, the HMIs just use um, integer values. That's the PLC tag. So we have the PLC tag. That's what it's called on in the PLC program. And that's what it's called on the HMI. Between those two, we can do a scaling. You can't find it here. Just by the way, I will just put the acquisition cycle down here to 100 milliseconds because now the update is then way faster. With one second, you have to wait until the value updates for one second. No, I want 100 milliseconds. So yeah, so where's the scaling? The scaling is a little bit hidden. You have to select your variable here, uh, your tag, and you go down to your inspector window. There you have properties, and in properties, you already see some things, right? You already see some things here that we can actually do. We can multiplex even. Oh, that's nice. I didn't know. Um, we can do good manufacturing practice. What is this? <laughs> Jim Peter, I don't even know what some of these are. <clears throat> in here, we have more. Uh, info infos about the variable we have actually selected up here in properties properties there is the range for example i could choose upper and lower ranges by just saying here hey upper limit should be some value i should not be able to go above 100 or so not going to do that right now i don't i'm not talking about limits we talk about linear scaling right there's linear scaling I can activate the linear scaling for every single variable on its own, right? And now what, what do I want to have? On the HMI and PLC, it should be a bit different. On the HMI, if I have a zero, right? That should be in the PLC also a zero. Other side, if I have on the HMI a 100, that should be, if I have a 100 on the HMI, that should be the 32,767 on my PLC because that is the same as 100% for the PLC. We need to do that because the PLC thinks that's 100%. So I'll type that in here, All right? I type that number in and that's it. That's it. I save now, I go back to my simulation, I reopen the window. 
So that that's all the trick. Usually you would need to, to write this into a program and stuff. No, no need. Oh, wait, I still have to change my slider actually. Uh, let's change the slider back to 100 because that's our maximum value right now. <clears throat> so I go here and I open this up. And I can at the same time reopen my data block here. And now if I go to zero, right, you see in the data block, it's also zero. If I go to 100, so what, what would you expect? 32,767. If I go to 50, that's exactly the center, right? That's exactly 50% and so on. So you see the scaling automatically happens now without me having to write a program on it or so. You can just activate it and say the scaled val values, right? So that is pretty nice. Now, if you would like, for example, hey, um, you want to control a motor speed, right? You want to control the motor speed directly. And let's say your motor speed is not just 100 or it is 2,500. So what do we do? I go to my root screen here. I change the display here. The maximum should be 2,500, right? And then I go also to my variables in my HMI, right? That's HMI variables. And I just say on the HMI, if it says 2,500, that is the same as 32,767 on the PLC. That's it. And now we're talking about uh, revolutions per, mi per minute, RPM, right? Pretty simple. It could be anything else, right? That's, that's just scaling, very simple way of scaling. So zero is zero, 2,500, you see it is our 32,000. Something in the center is something in the center and you see everything in between is linear scaled. Yeah, so a very nice feature. If you ask me, very nice feature. Uh, I have found out about this way too late. Usually I would go to my uh, to my program and actually use this scale block, which of course works as well. But you see it is, well, now I have this in the program and it's a little annoying to, to write that. And if I want to change something, hey, where do I change it? And just, just do it the good way. <laughs> just do it the good way, don't do this. And if you still do it, if you if you did that, always did that, and you you want to continue doing that, feel free. Right, that's that's definitely up to you. But I found out about this, um, and I thought this is awesome. That's actually a great feature to have. Good, great, awesome. Um, yeah, if you've got questions to this, just leave a comment below. Um, someone else might answer. I'll try to get to it as always. Um, or also you could check out the link in the description below to our forum that is growing and I should definitely look more into it. Um, so you see a lot of people doing a lot of things here. Great. Awesome. It's growing. Thanks for that. Awesome. I love it. And the next thing and the last thing is, of course, if you want to support me because I am doing putting a lot of effort into this, um, you can go to in the description below, you can go to my GoFundMe, just click the link and there is something like uh, donate now, I think, and you could donate, just toss some coin in my direction. That'd be awesome. And there's some people I don't know who I have thanked already. I think I think I thanked those. Frank, I think I haven't thanked you and Anonymous. Thank you as well. Great. Awesome. Thank you, everyone for watching. Right. Thank you for liking the video. Thank you for sharing the video with your colleagues and friends. And I will see you in the next video while I'm working on my new tank system. If you haven't seen it, check out my videos and my posts on my factory simulator tool that I'm building. Awesome stuff. I love it. Um, so yeah, have a nice day. Stay safe and healthy and bye-bye. <laughs>